All right, we're recording. Decided to pick up about 10 o'clock at the house because, oh, who's that? Can't see him, but a little smoky right there. Yep. Oh, because of that right there, full moon. So, we're gonna try to catch some bass here. Just got my, like I said earlier, I just got my new, uh, my Abogar seal back from the uh, getting fixed. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the uh, rattle trap. Let's see if we can't uh, haul a couple of bass in or whatever wants to try to pick that up in the moonlight. That's a bit chilly out. But uh, fish gotta eat. So we'll run this rattle trap. I hope I catch a couple bass in the moonlight. Oh, oh definitely gonna catch some grass. Oh, show. Sure. You you need to um, you need to stop whining. Can you do that for me? He stop whining. Be a big boy. Yeah, I can be a big boy about things. Stop whining. You're okay. Last time I brought him, he was a wanted mess for whatever reason. That made no sense to me because, you know. Oh, man. I love the way this setup feels. Oh, no. I'm already on low battery. Huh. Huh, doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Keep running up this line. You need to sit down and lay down, please. Ooh, this thing casts like a dream. Oh, I found this reel, or this reel, this rod actually, and uh, someone's throwing it away. It's a uh, Bass Pro Shop rod. I'll have to get the, the name of it. Thank you for laying down, but uh, I was waiting to get this reel back from Abu Garcia, put it on here. Man, I tell you what, this thing is beautiful. I think where we was using it before me, it was uh, using it for salt water. And uh, man, I tell you what, it is a nice, nice rod, seven footer, but it, uh, man, this thing casts like a dream. I got my reel back today, so I had to come out here. It's like 10.30. I had to come out here and uh, fish with it. Make sure that uh, it's up to snuff, and it it really feels nice. They did a good job of uh, fixing it. Well, we got the, uh, the, the ghetto bird coming in, which is the... Uh, Sarasota Sheriff's Department helicopter. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. We call it the ghetto bird. <laughs> but uh, they're, such, they're a pain in the ass. Like I said, it's like 10.30 at night and they're flying over people's houses. That's when they like to uh, do that. Well, reason they like to uh, wake people up all right uh, so I'm gonna be up biting soon it's a bit calm out here being a good boy thank you guess I'm gonna have to work these this little grass line here on the edges see if I can't get someone to come out and fire on that dude there oh slowly falling in love with the rattle trap i've always been a uh weedless 
Texas rig, myself. Love fishing Texas rig, but about the last year, year and a half, I've been, I've been fishing out of my element. And I'm really liking the, really liking the rattle trap. I like how it just bumps, bumps on the ground. Well, they might be looking for someone. There's two helicopters out, and I just saw a cruiser. Well, they might be looking. They might be looking for somebody. Whew. I've had really good luck here on a spinner, big spinner at nighttime, but like I said, we're gonna run this rattle trap. Just had a big great blue heron land over there. 50 feet away from me. Yeah, that thing was big. that cold maybe we get at least a couple bites up out of here and pull a couple a couple little fish up out of here on that grass line maybe right there come on someone be, someone be enticed there we go oh that's a nice fish oh that's a nice bass there dude oh that's a nice little bass oh strong little bass Ooh. Oh, yeah. Like I said, man, I've been fishing outside my element, especially with these rattle traps. Let's see if we can get some 